If you're going to run, do it now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of the Soda Nerds Collector's Corner. And today, we're here to talk about Morbius, the living vampire. Morbius, the anti-hero that was first seen in Amazing Spider-Man 101. Now, if you were one of the lucky few to still own a copy of this and have it in great condition, know that the highest known price, uncovered price, was on June 5th of last year, 2021, and that was a 9.8 sold at $23,250. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, those are one of those comics that I uh, I was unfortunate to have in my hands, but did not did not purchase. Yeah. Anywho, other collectibles that have gone up in price are the Funkos. So let's take a look at some of these, huh? Now. Back in 2015, the first two Morbius Pops released in a Marvel Collector Core box for about 30 bucks. Now, in that box, you have a chance at one of two different Morbius Pops. The regular, standard Morbius, or the Morbius Zombied version. Now, the Morbius Zombie version, in my opinion, looks more like when he's in his fiendish mode, where he's on the attack in his monstrous form that he just can't control feeding. That's kind of what that one looks like. Not so much a zombie zombie. But let's also not forget that last year in 2021, they put out another Morbius pop that was really more of a Morbius zombied pop or a zombie Morbius pop. It, it was an Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. And that one right now is trending in the $20, you know, $20 range, $20, $30 range. But that, to me, looks more zombified than it does Morbius. Either one of the old school originals, either way, look like the Morbius from the Morbius movie that's coming out. Now, with these two original Morbius, they're trending at about $65 a piece. So you can only imagine if this movie is awesome, these things are gonna skyrocket through the roof. Now, I'm really looking forward to seeing the movie. I figure I'd drop this quick video for you guys. Let's see how this movie turns out. I'm excited to see it. I'm secretly hoping they sneak in a little bit of Blade in there, but we'll find out and see. You guys have a good one. Don't forget, collect what you love. And here on the Soda Nerds, it's always fun to be a kid, even if you aren't one, eh? We'll see you guys next time, huh?